Hi guys! So today we're gonna show you how we power the upper van without using solar panel or shore power. Ta-da! So tonight we are in a stilt mode. It's cold outside and we are using our auxiliary battery to power up our van like the lights, charging our phones, and the exhaust fan. So far, it's been good and it worked for us even if we don't have the solar panel yet. So, let's get back to our topic. In our van, we have two types of batteries. The car battery or the engine battery and the auxiliary battery. The car battery is what we use to start the engine and the auxiliary battery is what we use at the backseat of our van to run the light, charging our phone, or the exhaust fan. What is a smart battery isolator or a dual battery isolator? We did some research and basically it says it isolates or separates the car battery from the auxiliary battery while the car engine is not running and you would be able to use your lights or charge your phones or just power up your the back side of the van without draining the car or engine battery. So by, by doing so, you will still be able to run your van anytime. But when the car or van starts running, the isolator automatically connects the auxiliary battery to the car engine battery so the alternator could charge both of them. The isolator that we bought would only charge the auxiliary battery once the car or engine battery reaches 13.3 which is the cut in. Once that's reached, the auxiliary will start charging which is good because they're making sure that the car or engine battery is full which is imp more important to run before running other stuff here at the back <laughs> okay. is it clear okay. so again um, the auxiliary battery will just start charging once the car engine battery reaches 13.3 which is the cut in for the isolator that we bought once that is charged that would be the time that the auxiliary would start charging and it automatically cuts out or separate charging the auxiliary battery and charges the car battery once the car battery goes down to 12.8 volts and this usually happens when your car battery is old or defective personally even if you already have a solar panel i would definitely recommend having an auxiliary battery and an isolator now we're gonna show you how we attach this first of all to avoid accidents or short circuit, isolate the engine battery by removing the negative terminal. So this is how we wired our setup. We attach the black wire on the smart battery isolator. This is an earth wire and it is important that it has a secure and clean contact. If possible, select a nearby bolt or screw that is earth to the body. In our case, what we did was we connected the black wire directly to the negative terminal of the car battery which also works. Connect the cable to the start battery from the positive terminal to the stud on the smart battery isolator with the painted red dot. Then run another red wire from the smart battery isolator with the unpainted stud going to the positive terminal of the auxiliary battery. In this part of the negative side of the auxiliary battery, we run a black wire from the negative terminal to the body of the car, which is also a ground. Make sure to have a clean bare metal connection. This yellow wire is the override wire. It enables you to override or use the isolator manually. For example, in case your car battery is drained and your auxiliary has still enough power to start your car, you can switch it on to combine the two batteries and start your car. And don't forget to switch it off after using. To wire this, basically you just put switch from the yellow wire to any ground. Once you're done, reconnect the negative wire on your engine battery. And it's now time to do some tests. Start the vehicle's engine. When the starting battery's voltage which is cut in 13.3 volts, the relay will close automatically and allow the auxiliary battery to be charged. 
This is indicated by the red light on the front panel of the smart battery isolator being illuminated. Turn off the engine. Then check that the smart battery isolator disengages when the start battery's voltage falls below cut out 12.8 volts. So for us that we don't have a solar panel yet, this is our second night using our auxiliary battery and we're just charging our phones using the light and just the exhaust fan. So far, so good. So guys, that's it for tonight. Hope you find this video very helpful. And for people or van lifers like us who doesn't have a battery for solar panel yet, hope this one helps. And I'll be putting below the link of the isolator that we bought from Amazon. Keep safe guys. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.